Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jan is five years the elder. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. All right, now to get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 19 wins, six losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Petra no mercy, All right, Grinton, you're losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM brand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International fight week, the championship fights all across the board. He come to T-Mobile. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Head kick, oh, right hand gets up to block it. Single collar tie now. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice straight right lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Huge knee lands from the Tycoon. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Wow, what a kick! Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Right hand punch from the twin. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Whiffs on that offering. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Trying to kick the leg out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Slips the punch. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Connects there with the punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Just misses there with the left. Nice one-two there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next okay, round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he observed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Blocks the shot. 
just misses with that one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice. Ooh, it's big shot, man. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Plus right hand is true. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He blocks the punch. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. And they separate. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of... Better him than me. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big head kick lands. Nice body kick. Wow. Oh, nice. Punch over the top. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice defense there. Huge block. Got the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. Spinning back fist. Unable to connect there. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch to the clinch. Takes him down. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges, potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. And when you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right, right. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though 
They were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, big head kick. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the Thompson hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He is throwing a fast, great hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Big kick land. Connects with a right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice loop and punch. Oh, big head kick land. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. <laughs> that right hand hurt him a little bit. <laughs> Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. What a punch. Back and forth we go. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And there comes the separation now. Big kick lands. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let... He's hurt! He's hurt! 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice leg kick. 
final seconds of round three. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch. Powerful leg kick land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation. Whoa! He's hurt. Close him up. Go get him. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie here. Beautiful punch. Let's get going now. Oh, huge block. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick land. And just inches away. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Just over two minutes now to go. Fighter trying to pass here. Uva gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, he mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You're going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers 
how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.